then um, this painting is a little bit more uh, geared towards probably intermediate beginner, um, only because of the sailboat. I I just feel like asking a lot from a beginner for this portion and maybe this only because of the curvatures. Um, but I'm not saying don't try it because you're only going to get better the more you do it. So this is the painting we're going to do today. I had some leftover paint so I'm just going to kind of modify the colors down here and that's what I would hope you would try to do. Just experiment, see what colors maybe work best for your house. You could do this whole painting in reds instead. Reds, purples, pinks. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be these blues and greens. So we're going to get started. Um, I, I'm going to leave this right here so you guys can see it. And I have all my brushes, my water, my cloths, uh, my apron today. Uh, sometimes I forget. Uh, I have different brushes available, so filberts, flats, uh, round, spotters. It just depends on what I'm doing, but today we're going to work quickly and we're going to go about three-fourths of the way down this painting, and it's a pretty long one, so it doesn't also, you could do a different size, you could do like a 16 by 20, 18 by 24, um, a 9 by 12, just depends on what you want. So we're just going to fill the bottom up all the way down the page with this lighter blue. And all my paints today are Artist Loft Professional and um, Liquitex, the heavy body. I love them. They make me happy. <laughs> and we're just going to fill this page up real quick. All the way down. Make sure you don't have any spots that are any white spots because we want to fill this whole page up all the way down. And then we're going to go with our, uh, this is a magnesium blue that I had left over. And we're going to kind of just give that line there, the water. And it's going to be a little darker right here. And then we're going to bring that in. We're going to pull, I have some Prussian blue, ultramarine. Um, this is a ultramarine light. There's light permanent blue, ter uh, teal. And then I have my greens, my sap green, my bright green, my yellow, and of course my white. Um, I do have a few other colors like this peach color, but I'm not going to use that, I don't think, today. Uh, these are the colors we're going to stick with mostly today. So I'm working my way down. I have a little bit of yellow, orange in that for some reason. There you go. And I'm just doing the darker areas because they're further back. And I'm only doing that just so I have my guidelines on where I'm having the water start versus where I'm having. And you can just slowly go across. It doesn't have to be crazy. I'm just doing back and forth with the color. Just Filling up the page, working its way up. Now I'm going to clean that brush off real quick because I don't want the really dark terribly much in the top part. So I'm going to pull this uh, kind of ultramarine light blue. I'm going to put it right back here. And I'm going to mix the light permanent blue with that. We're going to work our way all the way up with that blue. And notice how I'm doing horizon painting lines. So I'm going across horizon. So horizontal, I'm doing the horizon line. I'm, I'm going uh, horizontal versus vertical. Um, and I do that because I am doing horizon. And I like, um, I'm not saying you can't, it's just it's not going to look right in the end. You want to go horizon to horizon kind of thing. Um, and we're going to probably add some of those little guys in uh, cloud-wise right after we finish putting this in. Just working real quick today. We have a little bit of time, sadly. It's okay if your paint mixes together. That's okay. No biggie. You might take longer. I 
definitely tend to go back to my pieces um, and work, rework them, add a little bit more detail. Some of my pieces, depending on the size, they can take anywhere from six hours to weeks. Um, it really just depends on the piece, my mindset, um, and of course how much detail I'm putting in. If it's a really super detailed piece, then yeah, it's going to take me a while. Um, and I always go back into my pieces, do touch-ups. You can paint the sides. I am not going to right now. I'm just kind of brushing the sides to make sure I get the curvatures. And yeah, we're good. Okay, so now uh, we are going to start working with the clouds. And we're going to put that white on your brush. And we're going to just kind of do little humps kind of throughout. And then, with the other side of my brush, I don't really have much paint, I'm going to kind of pull and do like swirls a little bit. And, I, and because my paint is wet, and that's how I work, it's really nice because it gives a nice texture to your piece. You can also go back with uh, a cloth or uh, like saran wrap or bubble wrap and you can kind of texturize it as well. So we're doing areas that are brighter. So we're doing more white in that area, going across, just working back into them, just little humps, little fun little short strokes, nothing crazy. Adding more white every once in a while. Doing them different directions. Maybe in this part, I'm going to do less white because it's further back. But just make sure that you leave that tip the white. So I'm going to go back in and kind of give that definition there. So it kind of creates that movement. And I'm almost like sort of doing an S shape in different directions. Yeah, I'm just working back into them. And you can even go with that blue again and just go right above that. And you can do just wispy lines and maybe swirl them. Just pull that white so it looks like there's maybe wind blowing those sails of the ship. Swooping down. Have fun with it. Don't get up tight. The great thing about acrylic paints is that they dry quickly. So you can modify, modify, modify. If you don't like something and it's getting muddy, just take a break from that section of the painting, let it dry, work down here, vice versa, and you can rework it. I paint wet, so of course everything is, is always going to be manipulated in my process, but you don't have to. That's the beauty of being an artist. You can do you. I'm here just to help you learn the professional tricks of the trade. A lot of people don't share this stuff. Because, of course, they don't want to lose their jobs, right? So, and I get that, of course. You know, you want to have your certain style. And I, my style has evolved over the years. But, I always go back to the same. And I'm originally from Florida, so, I love color. South Florida is filled with color. We enjoy it. I'm just gonna pull in. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just work how you want. You can also work from a picture. Um, just make sure it's your picture. Some people tend to snag other people's work and that's just not really 
really fair because he spent a lot of time on that. And, um, now, I, I sometimes work from pictures that I take, but I don't go exactly off of it because I want it to be unique and me. And uh, see, I'm just kind of working in every once in a while with that white, by the way. It's not perfect and that's not what I'm looking for. But um, yeah, I, I, I use it as a guide, but I don't go exactly off of it because it's my piece and I want it to stand out and I want it to be me. Okay, so now we're gonna go with the green. We're gonna do the shrubbery in the back. So we're gonna do our dark sap green right at the bottom here on this water line. And I'm gonna mix a little bit of that Prussian blue with the green to make it real dark back here. And I'm just kind of swirling, doing little swirls. Just real quick, just swirls and swirls. Nothing crazy, but just having fun with it. Little circles, just think, bushy, bushy tree. Oh my goodness, bushy tree. The further you get down to the bottom, the darker it is because there's shade down below. Just bushy, bushy. Have fun with it. Now, we get to the top part. We want to have that yellow burst of little shrubbery. So we want to use, and I'm using the same brush. You don't need to, you can use a thinner one. You can do a round brush. You can do a spotter. If, if you're working uh, with a small piece, I suggest you use smaller paint brushes. Uh, I can pretty much use one paint brush throughout the whole entire piece, but I try to switch it up for you guys so you can see how to do it properly. Um, so here, we're just doing touches of that yellow. We don't wanna go crazy with it. Just because it's, it's not like it's really popping that much. Like it's hot. I do like to sing every once in a while and dance, so hopefully you don't make fun of me too much. All right, so now we're pulling that lighter green in doing some pops of color here and there. Just have fun with it. Good stuff. I'm just really pulling in, doing little bumps here and there. I'm gonna pull on that green, that dark green again in every once in a while. Okay, now I'm gonna go with that round brush. It's a six, I think, maybe? No, this is a one, I think. I have too much paint. Sorry, guys, it's a little rough looking. Um, and we're gonna do that dark green, the sap green, and the Prussian blue again. We're gonna go down back into it to give that textured look like it's actually a bush or a tree or brush all around and maybe it's a combo of both so that we know that's land and not just nonsense back there. It doesn't have to be perfect your lines. That's the great thing about art. If you don't like something and dries, you can go back, rework it. yet because I want to show you the sailboat. So for folks that are going to start with the sailboat, I have it from about uh, two thirds of the way to about two thirds of the way from the bottom. So it pretty much fills up that whole area. So we're going to go with our white and our bluish mixture here. That's fine. And we're going to start doing that shape. Now, if you look at it, it kind of has this like little point. So we're going to and if you notice, in relation to the land, that point almost goes to the land. So we're going to bring that point right around here. And we're going to bring it down. We're going to swoop it down. Okay? Now, after we've gotten that section, because this is the very tip of our sailboat, we're going to kind of almost do like a real soft hump to it. It's got a curve. 
we're gonna almost like a little roller coaster. We're gonna go up on that roller coaster and cut in and just start progressing down, okay? Now here's the thing, we have to stop. We have to, we can't go all the way off. So as we get further back, we're just gonna do a straight line, but not too big, because it's further back, it's more depth. And then we're gonna go back around and we're gonna swoop down and right at that tip, we're gonna connect, okay? So that's our one section. Now we gotta do the other side. Same thing, except for this is smaller. So we're gonna swoop down with our roller coaster ride. Pull it in, and we're gonna turn. We're gonna turn, don't miss your turn. Swoop it back in. Now, I'm a little off, not terribly bad, and that's okay. You just rework it until you get it in the right position. Now, I am going to bring this point up a little higher and I'm going to swoop it into here but I'm going to have it really end here. So I kind of did like a break almost between the two. And that now can be filled in. Now with this section here it's going to be darker so we're going to use that Prussian blue and some white and we're going to mix those two colors together because this is leaning. And I'm gonna switch brushes because it's gonna take me forever otherwise. So this is leaning. Now if you wanna do a gray color instead of the color I'm using, that's okay. Um, just mix black with white. Not a lot of black, very small amount. Does not have to be a lot at all. Um, people tend to get carried away with black and trust me, you'll regret it. It's very hard, very hard to get it to go back and cover up. Um, don't feel like you need to use really expensive paint either. Um, if you're just beginning, try different paints out. Uh, if you know that there's a brand that you really like, for sure, you know, if it's on sale or overall, if you can just afford it, then get it. You know, I mean, I love really nice paints. Uh, however, I can use student grade paints and make it almost look exactly the same. It's just up to you and what your abilities are. So just keep practicing. If you're a beginner, I do suggest you get the basic paints um, just to see if you really do love it and I think you will. Art's amazing and it's fun and relaxing and you can just be carefree. So now we're filling in the other side and I'm just, my paint's still wet at the bottom so I'm kind of just blending it with that. And I'm bringing that color up top. And I kind of want to cut this back in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with my what my water and my cloth, and I'm going to try to find kind of semi clean area. And I'm going to use a little bit of water on my brush, and I'm going to cut into this area because I really don't like it. And I'm using my cloth to wipe off that water. And just swooping in there. Okay? So, that way I'm kind of peeling the paint off a little bit. And then what you can do is go back and just kind of redo that section a little bit. Because we're going to go back over it anyway with the paint. But now it makes more sense and it looks a little bit better. I like it a little bit better. Okay? So, now we're going to do our brush in blue. I'm gonna get crazy with it. I'm gonna use green and some yellow. I'm gonna mix those colors. I'm gonna use some more Prussian and maybe even 
throw in, I have some extra um, peach color, so I'm going to throw that in there too. What I'm trying to get is more of a brownish hue. Um, now, it's not going to be perfect because really blues, greens, and yellows work great together. This peach kind of color is not a normal one. So that's lightening it up, kind of giving that almost weird blue-green. Uh, let's see what else I want to add to it. Let's do more pressure. I really love pressure. Um, and so now I'm going to do my kind of line going up for the sail. So right where we had that first initial roller coaster ride uh, hump up, right below that, we're going to pull up and we're going to kind of pull up in the direction towards the left hand corner. And we're going to pull it all the way up. And it's okay if some of your paint mixes, it's okay. You're going to use a thin brush as thin as you can. Come back down a little bit, okay? So that's gonna give us our line to work with. We're gonna make it thicker at the bottom, because of course it has to attach to the boat base, okay? So now, I've got that, I'm gonna pull out my bigger brush. And I'm going to Use that white that I still have that's pretty clean. And here we go again. We're going to pull from the top, almost like a triangle. And we're going to swoop down. Now, I'm not going straight down. I could do a triangle, and I'm going to show you that. I'll do a half triangle for you guys to show you. So I'm doing a half triangle. But here's the thing. When I get to about here, it kind of juts in. So I want to make sure I'm given that space here. And it's going to mix with your greens, and that's okay. What you can do is, I pulled that greens, those greens off, the greens and yellows, that's okay. Just pull it off your canvas and put it on your cloth. No big deal. Now it's in there. I actually had a little bit of mine mixed with my white, which I love. I think it's fantastic. So now I'm going to go with that white and I'm going to fill in this whole area. So pretend this is like a half triangle, right here. Just this whole section. How fun is that? It's all shapes, baby. All shapes. Now, we're gonna create that swooping motion down below and bring it in. And we're gonna cut back into here as well. Just give that beauty. Now, I'm going to add some of this uh, mixture of that I kind of made, that concoction, because I think it's really cool. And because this sail is kind of coming over, we want to have some darkness in certain areas. So we're going to kind of create like a half moon shape a little bit right around here, just a little bit with our paints. And then we're going to come back in and again, we're going to do a little bit in this area as well. So just quite a full kind of half moon, but maybe just like a crescent. And I clean off my brush. And go back with my white and really make that pop there. Because it did mix with my background, of course. And you see how heavy my paint is. I'm really getting it real heavy. And now I'm going back into that darkness swooping it down a little bit, just going with that motion. I'm not going straight, I'm not going uh, horizontal, I'm not going vertical, I'm going with that uh, movement and you want to make sure you do that. Okay, move with your piece. Okay. Now, a little bit of it covers up our Post. Ooh, I have 
red in here. Oopsies. Um, I want red. Sorry, guys. Um, I mean, you can't add red for doing red, but I didn't want red. So it's okay. We're getting back into our white. So we're going to cover up a little bit of that post with this sail, and it's going to come back in. And we're still going to go with that motion, the swooping direction. A little bit up. Just swoop. We're going to make that white really pop in these edges because it's really shining. It's really popping. Okay, beautiful. We're getting it. Now, I'm going to bring some of that white in here as well. We're almost getting there, guys. Almost to the stretch. Now I'm going to switch brushes because I'm getting a little lower. So I can go back into my piece and do my darker colors. I'm going to go back in here and do some kind of V shapes, kind of turned out, just to kind of give those movement to our sail. That's a, oops, man, that red is really in there. Some white. Just enjoy yourself, have fun. Okay, so let's go back. And we're going to make those lines again down here to darken up this area. That Prussian blue and white. I wonder if I should pull that red. There you go. Now I got it. Okay. So if you mix red and blues, it kind of gives a purple. And that's okay. If you mix the red and the green, it gives kind of that uh, brownish color. Um, it's just all about playing with the colors. If you have a color wheel, that's great. Um, it definitely helps if you're not familiar. Art school, they kind of ingrained it in us. And so I, of course, know, you know, what works best. Feel free to message me or comment if you have any questions or you're struggling on something um, and you just want to to get some feedback. I'm happy to help you guys as well. Okay. Go. We're just working back in with the mixtures of colors, our kind of gray color that we mixed because I had some red in there. That's cool. And I'm making sure I don't lose that line that I have. So I want that to be So I'm going to cut more back into that kind of grayish color that I used. Swooped around into here. And I'm pulling some of that Prussian to really make it dark so you can see. It comes in, cuts in a little bit. that red blue mixture that I 
ahead. Since apparently I have some red here, that helps. It certainly helps, folks. And I'm going to go back into my post here while everything else is kind of drying at the bottom there. And use that color. Switched my brushes to the round. Colors of that kind of uh, gray to re emphasize that post. So that red and blue green mixture with a little bit of white. We're going to show that post. Now we're going to do our line. So almost like a triangle, but it's kind of got like a little hump to it. We're going to pull that down in there. And if this brush is too big, switch it for a different one. And you want that line to almost go to the end of that boat there. Ooh, my brain's still really wet, so of course I've mixed. It's okay. You can touch that up. So we're bringing that line in. There you go. And I'm wiping my stuff. And I'm going to go back into that green and touch up where I missed mm -hmm. it. And that's okay. No biggie. And I have a little bit of blue. Just wiping it off. All good. No big deal. Now we're going to do that color again. With the red and the blues, just mix it together. Now we're going to kind of go in that triangle shape that we made, right around, I would say a little halfway. We're going to make a line, not straight across, but kind of angled up a little bit. And then we're going to make another one about two thirds of the way. We're going to pull that in. Then we're going to make a like a triangle shape. Where's my red now? Now I can't find that red color. Okay, and we're going to bring that half a triangle shape in there. We're going to bring it down into the line we have. And we're going to do it again up here. come back and I'm going to give that boat some of that protection so you don't fall off your boat, right? You're going to do some lines, just small lines. They get smaller as they go back. And we're going to pull it down and we're going to make that line all the way down, just following the ship base of it. And we're going to narrow it at the end. Make sure you're narrowing that. And then again, we're going to do the other side, but we're going to make it real narrow at the bottom. There you go. And then, now that that's done, it's looking good. You like it? Yes, we do. Now we're going to go back. And we're going to start working into the water, okay? So, we're going to get that ultramarine blue. I'm going to put that in the background a little bit. And we're going to put it around the boat base because we're going to do that and the Prussian. That's where it's dark, right? So, real quick, moving in with the darker colors, the ultramarine, the Prussian, all the way down. Just periodically doing those motions. Short brush strokes, just periodically. And right here, it's real dark because that's where the front of the ship is. So we're using that ultramarine periodically with the bursts of color. And get dark in the back. I'll have to work around our post, that's okay. Just 
every once in a while, back and forth for different colors. Lighter blue in. Let's come right over here. Some teal. Let's well. Just tossing it in. Maybe even some of the light ultramarine. Just periodically. Toss them all in. Make it fun. Sailing. Some of that ultramarine again. Now white. And have our waves coming up, splashing, because our boat is coming in. Just making them splash. Splash around. Splash. A little bit here and there because our paint is wet. It's kind of some more just splashing around. Just coming up. We're gonna bring them up here a little bit. Woo! Splashes. If you've ever been on a boat, you know when you're riding it, it's, it just kind of splashes you a little bit. That's okay. It's fun. Water's refreshing. And the reason why I don't uh, do this texture before is because it would be a really hard to cover up that texture on the boat. So I always leave it for the last. Kind of just working in here, bringing some of that color again, again. Add some little whites here and there. Just make it fun. Fun, fun, fun. Just blend those colors. Woo! How fun. All right. Well, folks, I would say we're done. Um, you can go back in, especially in this area, just kind of maybe rework it a little bit. Add some white here and there. Add more blues. Again here, as I, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe. Uh, I'll try to post one every week. Also make sure that you sign your pieces at the end. That's actually the most important thing. So I'm going to sign it right at the bottom here. My initials. You can use your initials, your full name, whatever you'd like. But I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to comment, um, message me, check me out on my Facebook page, Amber's Nature Art um, and Amber Rui, or check me on Instagram. I'm also uh, I have my website up, so feel free to check it out, Amber's Nature Art.com.